What's up guys? Jeremy here. Oh. Oh my god. Let's get this AC going. Testing. I locked myself <laughs> out of my house. I uh, I started recording. <laughs> And then I got too pissed off and I was like, yo, forget this. I'm just gonna quit recording. I finally broke <laughs> broke into my house and uh, I found my keys and I don't know, I didn't grab my keys. So I go back outside and then uh, I locked myself out again. Sorry, I've got this little kid staring at me. It looks like that feck redhead kid from uh, the Sandlot. Is that the movie? I don't know, he's a little fat, curly-haired, redhead kid. Ha! Ah, he's a ginger! Ha! Ah, he's a ginger! Ha! Ah. Anyways, um... Going to the store right now. Grab some necessities. issues and the way the paint's laid down on it or the way it was uh, painted before or something it's gonna take a little bit longer so it's gonna take about a week from today to get that back now what I wanted to talk about <laughs> and this is kind of funny I found some extremely old and embarrassing videos from uh, Back when I was about 16 years old, um, I found a video for my first car. Actually, no, it's not my first. It's my second car. It's a Nissan 300ZX. This one was a uh, 93. I found a little video of me doing uh, donuts and that. And then a video of me and my mom's Honda Accord when I was also about 16. <laughs> And uh, the funniest one is uh, my first Camaro. I was about 17 years old. I was working at Target. And I, I kind of remember this day, but uh, I just got off work. I'm still in my little red Target shirt. And me and my buddy go out for a ride in my car. And this was an old uh, 98 Z28 with the B4C police package. Uh, nothing really special about it. Just pretty much a stock LS1. Um, I had Flowmaster 40 series exhaust and um, an SLP lid, and that was it. And let me tell you, I thought I was the shit. So uh, I found some videos of that, and uh, I might be posting those soon. I don't know if I'm brave enough yet. They're pretty embarrassing, uh, but if you guys want to see it, let me know. I might post them up. Anyways, I'm pulling up to the gas station, you guys. Uh, Give me one minute, I'll be right back. All right, so heading back home now. Uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, I had to stop and get some of this Goose IPA. Don't worry, it's not open. I don't condone drinking and driving. Um, anyways, I found out what was going on with the car. And uh, turned out it was actually a pretty easy fix. And um, once we get back to the house here in uh, probably about a minute and three seconds, I want to show you guys uh, what I found out. And I think you're all gonna, you're all going to be extremely surprised. I also uh, want to say thanks to everybody for all your feedback. And letting me know uh, what you guys thought was going on with the car. I really appreciate that. It's nice to have some people that uh <laughs> that want to look out for me and and try and guide me in the right direction in uh, troubleshooting this problem. So we're about to pull up to the house here. I'm gonna open the hood 
and uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I figured out. Here's what happened. <laughs> I took this right here and stuck it on the vacuum line. When the car shut off, this is what it did. <laughs> so, we literally took this off, we had some extra hose, and set this right here on the intake piping. So when we turned it off, it would suck it into the vacuum and make the sound of a dying chicken. Which really, it's supposed to be a duck call, but uh, it did sound more like a dying chicken. That's what happened. <laughs> Damn, I kind of feel like an asshole because you guys were trying so hard to help me and all the responses were very good. But, uh, damn, that's what it ended up being. I was going to wait a little longer before I, uh, before I came out and told you guys that, but I thought, uh, it, it started getting a little too far, so I went ahead and, uh, made this video. Thank you for all of your feedback on this, uh, this issue. Uh, like I said, <laughs> it really is nice to know that you guys are out there to help me out and help me troubleshoot and diagnose this problem but uh everything is good problem solved um i actually pulled it right off after we made that video because i didn't want to keep my car like that for too long but uh anyways guys thanks for watching subscribe like you guys probably aren't gonna like this you're probably all mad at me but <laughs> it was a joke i'm sorry so anyways guys appreciate it here's uh here's peanut say hello Sit down, buddy. Sit. Sit. Shake for YouTube. Good boy. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.